see this happening is on site pan, where we see when it gets down to the bare end of this, she had Japanese civilians join with the military with sticks, machetes, anything they have, and commit these bonsai charges. Now, could you imagine being American GI and you're seeing loads of people screaming, yelling, and charging at you? Waves of these people coming? How fast can you shoot? Five, six, seven thousand people. And remember, they're shooting at you as well. This is a psychological problem as well. One of the other issues that we start to see with Saipan is you can't get anybody to give up. You can't reason with women, children, anybody. If they're not fighting, they're committing suicide. And this has got a psychological toll on American as well as allied forces that see this. Women killing their infants and then killing themselves. That's got to be very critical. And this is starting to reshape the thought about how do we get involved, how do we fight. Well, as bad as Saipan, the battle for the island it was itself, and that island fight starts in July, in June, excuse me, June. It doesn't subside until July 11. It's nearly five and a half weeks of pure living hell coming across fighting the Japanese. First few days we made good progress, and then after they started encountering these emplacements, it became more and more difficult to get them to, to surrender or to give up or to fight them to the death. Now, perhaps the biggest piece here is this is the last time Japan takes its entire, almost its entire carrier crew and commits them to one final push against the Americans. They feel like they have to do something now because if they don't, it's going to be too late. And they take their resources, including their, their pilots, and they attempt to attack the U.S. carrier groups, two of them. And it really turns out to be a terrible mistake. One of the first things you have to remember, by this point in the war, the experienced Japanese pilots are far and few. They've been losing them steadily. So now you're getting green recruits that are trying to fly in planes. And the planes that used to be yesterday's great technology are not great technology anymore. We have planes that are better and they're faster. And what happens is when they engage in air combat, the American pilots start shooting down these Japanese. One person said it was like leaves falling from trees. Well, another guy said, boy, reminds me of back home when we used to shoot turkeys. It's a turkey shoot. Well, look at the losses. 630 aircraft, we lose 123. That means there's 630 less planes Japan has after this engagement. Where are they going to get these planes? Same place now that we're starting to bomb Japan. It's getting more difficult. There's no resources, no pilots. The noose is getting tighter. Let me just play this little clip and then I'll field some questions. Wasn't even, wasn't even close. So now Japan is pretty much at mercy. They know that the war is going to come to an end. 44, the handwriting is starting to be driven home. They can't keep their defensive perimeter. The U.S. is out producing them, outgunning them, and it's going to be an issue. Now, later in the course, we're going to visit those pivotal battles, Iwo Jima, Okinawa. Those are very devastating fights. And that's also going to shape the final lecture of the series, which is going to be the decision to drop the bomb. Any questions? Okay. There, there are none. One thing we want to announce, um, you folks are going to drive the decision or help us drive the decision as to what we're going to offer next in this wonderful series with the museum. We'll give you some details in two weeks. We appreciate your opinions and your ideas because we want to try to provide timely programming. We can't always do World War II stuff, but there are a number of other topics that we'd like to address with you. And 
try to make these public lectures a, a fixture. And you, you, you must admit that this is a great venue to do it, right? Okay, well, without any further ado, if no questions, we'll see everybody in two weeks. Bring a friend next time. Let's fill this up again. Oh, well, if, if the box is out there somewhere. I, if we didn't clean your pockets out last time, we always can take some more.